We are in the trailer and you can probably already see what has gone wrong. Yeah, so we did an emergency tape here. Uh, I don't know if I can remove it easily here. Probably. To show you, we did a fix, but this is what happened. So yeah, so everyone pushed so hard. Yeah. They just joined the uh, yoke yeah. all over the place. It's basically Which like we... this and this and this and this motion eventually just broke it like this. Yeah, and we like kind of already saw that yeah. happening with people who are not familiar with our sim. So yeah. Yes, we are very careful, but people are not. And that's okay. We should have made it stronger the first time. But the next time we'll make it stronger now. Yeah, we'll definitely make it out of metal. Yeah. Same happened on this side. Yeah, uh, that happened already in the morning, so yeah. we didn't fly anyone in this seat other than us because yeah. we knew what the uh, damage was already. Yeah. In this side also what happened because of this is you can see this one is clicking like this and it's definitely not supposed to do that. So so we need to do an overhaul on the yokes. We are underneath here again. You may remember us from the previous yoke video. <laughs> we were underneath here too. And we are removing these again so we can install uh, I don't know what it's called, but you will see soon. soon. Alright, so we decided to start actually dismantling everything. Mm -hmm. So now we are actually removing the center mechanism, which does the centering. And we are going to replace those with a gas spring system that I will show you in Fusion here. And you can see that that will replace all the springs with gas springs. Uh, so it's going to be one solid and fluid movement instead of uh, multiple springs doing all sorts of stuff. At least we hope that. Yeah, it Actually, should be. This was the last spring. Yep. This only now needs uh, this mechanism removed. It's an easy task. Yeah. And we would hope to also remove all of this in the center. But we won't do that because, well, it's supporting right now these rods. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's it's just better that way. Yeah. Yeah. We will cut a hole here. Yeah. <laughs> or cut cut this part out, and then we will uh, weld a piece here, two pieces. Yeah. And, and that's where the gas springs connect. Yeah. All right, so we are in the darkness now, but you can see that we cut a groove on this metal piece. And it fits our screw here. Yep. Uh, it's just... Yeah. So now the, we're gonna file this down so it is better. Yeah. So this yeah. is the part which slides uh, the uh, gas springs so that it can return and go the other directions, as you can see from the design. All right. Uh, as you can see, I don't have any design left, but it's all good. The mask yeah. just didn't work. <laughs> yeah, the mask is, uh, yeah, no, no, no talk about that. But yeah, we welded the complicated part that will go under the simulator. Yep. Yeah. On the screen is the picture of the fusion file. This one with the slots is the one with the fusion file doesn't have any slots. But yeah, that's what welded and painted. And let's go underneath, show what we uh, welded earlier. And that's right there. Yeah, the welds look pretty bad, but they hold up. Uh, and that's all that matters because it's literally under the simulator. No one's gonna see it. Yep. So, next up only left to do before installing the gas rings is to weld up the top surface there, the bottom of the yoke. Before we continue, we have a message from PCBWay, this video's sponsor. So PCBWay is a parts manufacturer who offer a wide variety of services ranging from custom PCBs to CNC services and 3D printing. Also, behind us you can see PCBWay is hosting their ninth project design contest that is valid through September 1st 
2025 until January 31st, 2026. So you have plenty of time. Be sure to go and see what happens there and maybe apply there. Yeah, we have all the links down in the description. Please check them out and enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you, PCB Bay, for sponsoring this video. Here we go. All right, we just finished installing this. Um, it was quite easy, easy going forward with all of the installing. Yeah. But yeah, it all went pretty good. And it's quite well lined up still with these pipes here. So um, I hope that it works. Let's see. I can draw that probably yeah, here. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, but yeah, it reaches all of the limits. And well, it it still returns from those positions. So yeah, it should be really good. This this feels really good. Yeah. At least right now. Uh, so last things we got to do underneath here is to fix the end end points with the gears. Yeah, let's get into that and also uh, install the yokes on the upside and we'll show after we have done it behind the camera. Yep. Yeah. Here, here we are now on the top side. You can see here the part we ordered from PCB Way. And this went really well here. It's, yeah. it's perfect. We painted the part with primer and then gray paint. And this looks insanely good. The PCB, uh, sorry, PCB Way's CNC quality is absolutely unbeatable and yeah. the price point is so good it is indeed um we still have to do some touch-ups here because we damaged and here even more stuff mm -hmm. yeah do you know what mobile grease is i do it's a kind of thing that you put in the mechanism when it's done and this thing is looking done as so you can see the new mechanism includes two bearings on either side so that prevents all the bending and slipping so the gears will not skip um, and it feels amazing uh, just gonna add the grease as we said the other side looks a bit different let's go ahead and teleport there on this side it's a bit more dark but you can see that we only have one bearing but that's on the outer side which means uh, we don't require the single bearing on the inside now of course it would be better to have two bearings but it would have been a major pain in the ass to do and it doesn't require it, so why bother? Let's go and add the grease and this mechanism will be done. This is how you open a grease bottle. Ew! Ew! Bear in mind, we don't have the actual grease gun. dispenser gun. Uh, so, so we, <laughs> we just pick here. We just use a, yeah, a pick, basically. Yeah, but I think we could like push it out of here. Yeah, we could, so. we could buy a thing for that. But we don't want to. Yeah, let's squeeze it. So, yeah, we just finished this. And um, it's not working. Yeah, delay or like the slack is really, really small. Yeah, it's, it's like this. Yeah, this might look a lot, but it's not. They trust us, that's not a lot. Yeah. But it's smaller here. Yeah, that first of the set is even better. Captain has a little bit more. Uh, trust us when we say that that is super, super difficult to get rid of. So if your home, simul home simulator has less slack than that, we congratulate you and then we would like to know how you did it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is now harder to move. Yeah, it has more pressure. So it's not like you can move it by accident or you know, it feels more rigid. Yeah, and of course, you can still move it by one hand. Yes. So, it's still good in terms of that. Yeah. But yeah. Um, Another thing we did at the very end, beginning of the video, we of course changed the pedals. The pedals now require so much force that you actually can't really use them with your hands, which is realistic. Um, yeah. And they also work very well. Yeah, we have quite a bit of set of springs there. Yep. Could be gas springs also. Yeah. But we don't want to change that at least yet because yeah. they're perfect right now. Yeah. 
The only thing we didn't do in this video in terms of mechanical fixing is the toe brakes on both sides. The captain's side toe brakes are completely broken. Uh, on the first of your side, I believe they do work, but they, at least in some sort of way. Yeah, yeah. but they don't. They, they aren't good. They are inside the mechanism, so if we want to change them, we either gonna have to access them through this little hole or disassemble the whole thing, which would take us probably a week or two to do. So let's not do that today. We can use braking on the first of your side, or we can use the parking brake which gives us a little bit of a rough stop, but at least we can stop. Yeah, this will be the end. Thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.